What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Now, today, we are back here with another Discord Cricket Memes episode number 232 here on this Friday. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and comment down below YouTube stuff, algorithm stuff. We're going to jump straight into this video. I was unsure if I was going to have a memes episode yesterday because, of course, I did have one yesterday. If you didn't check that out, go do so. But I'm like, RCB, we usually bring a memes episode when RCB has lost. They've won. They ended up winning last night, which I don't think anyone saw coming. We've got some memes here in the Discord. It may be a bit of a shorter one, but I'm like, you know what? We always have an episode when they lose. We're going to bring an episode when they win. So this is for you RCB fans in particular. We're going to jump straight into it. I think I've already said subscribe if you know all of that good stuff. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's get straight into it. Might be a bit of a shorter episode, but still wanted to get one out here on this Friday. All right, let's do it. Risha Pant calling Dhoni after the game. <laughs> Rolling around in his hotel. Just, yeah, of course. Why wouldn't you? I don't know if Dhoni's too happy though, because he's now we've got Dally Capitals versus Chennai fighting for that, you know, top four position. So, okay, I think the man Dhoni would be pissed off. And here we go, we've got some DMs from Dhoni. Hi, I'm MS Dhoni. Wow, I'm messaging you from a private account. I am in ranchy outskirts and I've forgotten me wallet. Can you give me 600 so I can return home by bus? We'll send back once I get home. Uh, oh, oh, don't worry. If you didn't think it was real, he then took a selfie of him on his farm. So, and then he said, whistle podu. Oh, it actually is Dhoni. Wow, I would believe it. To be honest, I would, um, I hope he sent that money because, you know, Dhoni, he wouldn't ask for that if he didn't need it. So that's a W right there. Shout out to Dhoni. Calculator CB is arrived for the IPL. <laughs> oh man, I feel like this calculator meme comes out almost every season now when RCB aren't playing well. But uh, hey, after last night, Get those scenarios going because I think they're still last, but anything can happen. Um, maybe. Successfully stopped SRH from scoring 300 before the game had even started. <laughs> oh, man. And this is the old, the old, um, yeah, you've got Wayne Parnell. You've got uh, Shabazz Ahmed there too. So I think that's an old photo, but. We've got Gulbuddin Naib replaces Mitchell Marsh in the Delhi Capitals for the remainder of the season. I mean, that's kind of cool. Like, it's cool to see an Afghanistan player, someone that I don't believe has been in the competition, get their first chance. But Ricky, <laughs> Ricky Ponting, where is the Australians? Why do you not bring in another Australian? I feel like we don't get enough opportunities in the IPL. Uh, Moses Henriques was literally sitting right there at home, a talented all-rounder, plays the exact same role as Marsh. And you went with a batsman. I'm not happy. Ricky? <laughs> oh, Ricky. Yeah, I tell you what, that's not up. That's not good enough. Um, we've got to support the Aussies, get them in. That's, that's, yeah, not happy. Coley has missed just four games in 17 seasons for RCB. Bro, that is nuts to think about. 17 seasons and he's only missed four games. And I wonder what those four games missed were actually for. So, he, yeah, it's probably a fair play to him. I mean, he obviously takes care of his body pretty well. That's why he's always available for everything it feels like except for the, the last test series so <laughs> yeah what is going on here Mohammed Siraj saying hey mate I'm just gonna bowl you one in this sort of area if you could just not pump it for six and give us a free wicket I'll slide you a cheeky little uh a little pay slip under the door we're all winners ah oh, man <laughs> like for real though what are they talking about here uh, I'm unsure. 
Coley's last four T20 innings at Hyderabad. 94 against the West Indies, 63 against Australia, 100 that last season, and then of course the 51 last night off 43. With all due respect, probably the worst innings on that list last night is this one out of all four. Um, just a little bit slow at times. I think he started really well, and then he just kind of just kind of slowed down, and it really kind of put the brakes on in the middle there. But hey. You know what? I've, obviously, people, as soon as Coley does something bad, people are going to be on his head about it because it's the best way to get impressions and media clicks and all that stuff. But to think about it, the man still has put this franchise on his back for, what, 16 seasons. So most runs, 7,000. Most fours, most sixes, most fifties, and most centuries all go to that man. So... Yeah, look, it's, I guess you could say stat padding, but someone's got a stat pad. There's no one else there. <laughs> there is no one else on that team to stat pad. I mean, you've got Padadar, who looked pretty good. Other than that, there's no one. Like Cameron Green, I suppose, but gee whiz. SRH have having their lowest power play score this year against RCB of all teams. The IPL can't be predicted, man. <laughs> it's funny because we said this, if you you know have watched most of my videos over the last few days, talking about that fixture, SRH v RCB, and we kind of said that like it would be the most IPL thing ever if RCB win and it's a low-scoring game. I don't know what Jay Shah's cooking, but... I think he's a fan of the channel, which is good to hear. Shout out to you, Jay. RCB changed 21 players this season, the most by any team. Thank God they kept faith in Padadar. Chopping, changing never helps. No, it doesn't. And it does not uh, leave the team with much confidence when you're always changing and not giving someone like three to four good games at it. Um, you know, like you think about Cameron Green, he got given at least four games before getting dropped. So I guess he, he looked pretty good last night though, I thought. After investing two hours, I created this scenario of how RCB will qualify in the playoffs. <laughs> oh no, my man, you shouldn't have wasted your time doing this. This is, uh, this is next level dedication. I'm going to be honest with you, my man. You can probably scrap this one and throw it in the bin. Um, but, but look, look at that. He's got Punjab finishing in eighth. I would take that. If we don't finish last, I'd be happy to be real. So, um, all right. I trust in you. Let's see how that goes. New Rinku Singh Instagram story. I love SRK. The cricketer or the actor? Unsure, but I'm going to assume the actor. I'm going to assume it's, uh, yeah, I assume so. SRH while chasing 200 plus. One win, 12 damn losses. Okay, now that's, um, how is that possible? Like, there is some ridiculous statistics in the IPL that every time I see, I just think, what the heck was going on for about 11, 12 seasons there? Like, there were some interesting things going on. Um, but yeah, I guess put on 200, bat first against SRH, you're a fair chance to win, as RCB did last night. They almost choked it in the end. It got a bit close, but let's take a moment and laugh at the academy. <laughs> it's doomsday, Dinder batters versus Dinder bowlers. I think we know which academy took the win last night. <laughs> oh, I love those accounts, man. They're funny. No batting first. No party for the impact player, Travis Head. Um, to be honest, I think Head kind of thought RCB. It doesn't have enough blue in their jersey, so not really going to waste his time um, on that, which, yeah, I guess makes sense. Inspirational. He's not that sort of guy. He wants to be friends with everyone, so. Don't be afraid, baby. It's just a bowling attack. And meanwhile, that bowling attack. 
Ah, it's a, it's a, it's a scary, scary attack. Uh, after what they produced last night, this could be the best bowling attack in the competition. So, I joke, but seriously, like they actually did have some big improvements last night. Obviously, you've got Siraj out there. You've got the man Diyal, who I thought. Yash Diyal, like he's so 50-50, you, you don't know if he's going to go for 300 runs or if he's going to take two for 20 or four. It's like inconsistencies, but hey, that's RCB, isn't it? SRH fan in Bengaluru versus RCB fan in Hyderabad. <laughs> Yo, but the, the difference is this is a grown man and this is a little kid, but... <laughs> What's the difference, man? They're both passionate fans. That's all you can ask. Only for the third time in his IPL career, Pat Cummins has walked out to bat inside the 10 overs. Only the third time. I mean, he has played for a while, but... Hmm. You probably think for Cole Carter, he probably never had to walk out early that often because they were always a pretty good team. So, um, remember that half century that he scored? for Kolkata to win the game. Was that, when was that? 2019, 18, 20? I'll figure it out. I'll let it, I'll let it that out. Sad moment. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, this is what you get for messing with Preeti Zinter a few weeks ago. No, but look, um, yeah, new meme. This is gonna be one of the most generational memes of Kavya, so we always appreciate it. Um, and always appreciate the cameraman for zooming in. Big W. Baba against New Zealand Z team. Uh, Z team. I think it's called a Z in Australia, anyways. In New Zealand. Um, in this series, sorry, I cannot read. 14 off 13, 37 off 29, and 5 off 4. What did he do in the first game? I think he made a half century, but I guess we're cutting that part out. <laughs> We're leaving that part out, but um, yeah, that is, that's pretty bad, especially at home against a pretty average New Zealand team on paper, let's be honest. So, RCB fans celebration. Damn, they're all doing the celebration, like it or not, the greatest of all time. <sighs> yeah, maybe like second behind Moses or... Um, Reese Topley. <laughs> oh, I'm joking, man. Sometimes I got to clarify because sometimes sarcasm can uh, go go way beyond, and I don't want people to take that literally. Or should they? The best revenge ever: silencing Cummins' team on their home ground. Yeah, hey, how it changes in in a few weeks. Reverse, boom, and then you get one, two, three. Caveat, damn. This is sad. We don't want to see this. That makes me a little bit emotional, to be honest. I don't like to see the caviar upset. Um, who would have imagined we would be putting a test cricket type field against SRH? This is when they will five for 69, obviously, but um, this, it was spin to win, wasn't it? It was actually really good to see Jax, Khan, Sharma, um, both bowled pretty well. So you got the man DK. Is that DK in close or is he behind? No. Who's this? Who was in close? Oh, no. I think it was Padadar. Padadar. Uh, Rawat. Sorry. Anuj Rawat behind the stumps. And then I think DK must have come in close. But because I think, did Rawat get hurt last night? I think he might have. But anyway, this is, oh, so this is this season. So, oh, hold on. RCB are winning they're winning uh, by 10 runs in two games. So that's, that's, you take that. <laughs> I'd probably rather be in the playoffs, but look again, you can't win them all, can you? So you take what you can get. <laughs> um, we've got, we know that Chinnaswamy, that's been a big frustration for us. It's a difficult ground to bowl at. You don't say, <laughs> you don't say faff. Uh, I mean, even Stevie Wonder, he, even he could have told you that. Like, yeah. Uh, look, to be honest, I'm not telling them to, you know, 
completely start renovating the stadium, but at least get a new pitch in or at least get a longer boundaries or you need to do something. Um, maybe they try make the pitch nice and spin friendly. Like I'm really unsure what they can do at home. <laughs> Most 50 pluses in IPL wins. David Candice Warner. That's what I'm talking about. Shikadawan, Virat Kohli, AB De Villiers, and Hitman. Hmm. I'm surprised that um, a guy like Suresh Rayner isn't on that list, or even like a. I guess there is two SRH players on there. Um, Shikadawan, David Warner. Yeah, okay. Two RCB players, and then one Mumbai. Only team in IPL playing an attacking brand of cricket. But with a brain. I would say Rajasthan probably also doing that. But anyways, for the <laughs> for this post, we'll pretend that's not true. Ah, look at Rinku, man. That is the inspiration. Even Mitchell Stark looking right at him. Andre Russell got his hand around him. Um, everyone else probably just taking in the aura of, of Rinku. But... Um, they have looked pretty good, haven't they? Like, let's be honest. I, again, I've said this, but I did not expect this from uh, KKR this season, and they've been they've been terrific. History in the making. Vanuatu have gone and defeated full member Zimbabwe. No, <laughs> Zimbabwe. You're going to have to bring me in again um, in their first match of the oh the women's qualifiers. Never mind, you don't have to get me into that one. I probably can't play, but um, I would if they if they allow it. But damn, Vanuatu beat Zimbabwe. That's a big W right there. Shout out! That, they're wearing a pretty um a pretty cool jersey as well. I like that. What's the colours? Um, Coley power play thirty two off eighteen, and then Coley in the middle. 19 off 25 that is the issue yeah i mean yeah i did say it before like i'm not the most biased person i'll say it how it is um and obviously it was it did get a little bit slow and kind of just stuck them in that sort of middle area but other than patadar really a bit of cam green at the end a bit of faff early they're still not getting much outside of anyone but him so yeah, I you kind of just take it as it is. I mean, they end up winning. He top scores. Yeah, a bit of both. <laughs> Best of both worlds. Flirting? Harassment. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, kind of true, but um, KO doesn't have the fan base that Coley has, so you're not going to get that. We've got New Zealand D team is leading 2-1, yeah. In Pakistan, which is crazy. The art, the artist, Psh, the man Baba officially, isn't he the captain again? Was that officially confirmed? I think it was, but um, not going to plan, is it? And it's probably why a lot of teams don't exactly want to tour Pakistan either. Like for, for test cricket, yeah, but when it's white ball cricket, it's like you're not getting much out of it, are you? Um, but I guess Pakistan, huh? For the crowd. We got Michael Bracewell with his sweet family. Oh, man, this is beautiful. Got the fam. We got Bobsy. What's Bobsy doing? I didn't know they were related. That's pretty cool. Look at Bracewell's dad and look at him. You don't need to do a DNA test there. That is the most spitting image you'll ever see. Game uh, gems of Pakistan Army training. Players injured three matches one, one got thrashed by New Zealand school team. <laughs> hey man, it looks like we've got a few more here. Shout out to Rish here that's uh, posting as we're recording. Shout out, Shupman Gill said. If I think about the World Cup and play in that manner, then it would be injustice to the Gujarat Titans. I've scored almost 900 runs last season. If I had to be picked, then I'll be picked. When, wait, hold on a minute. 900 runs last season. Is he talking about internationally? I think. Because I don't think he made 900 runs in the IPL, did he, last year? But to be fair, that was last year. 
Like, this is 2024. You kind of have to put your best foot forward. He's been really, really good. Just, there's just better options. More quicker, exciting sort of options who I think are going to bring more. Your Abhishek Sharma, your Jais Wall. I just think they're better. Quick, quick term options. But I guess the thing is, if you're going to open with Coley Rowett, who is your number three? Do you want to pick another Shukman Gill or do you want to pick a, a Jais Wall? Um, obviously, they probably would put Coley at three at that point. But yeah, there's a few things to play out. I am very, very much interested to see what squad they go with. And we've got the last one here of the video, finishing it off with some uh, Bobsy content. Pakistan are trailing 2-1. So in the last nine home series, Pakistan have won only two series under Barbar's captaincy. And that should probably finish it off right there. I don't understand. So he is the captain again. I can't believe they they gave that man Shaheen Afridi captaincy for like three days. And then they said, all right, hold on a minute. We don't really like this anymore. Go fetch your bags and get out of here. I think they did that with Sean Masood as well, which is just random. But hey, that will finish us off. I'm just scrolling here for something funny. <laughs> this will do. Hey, I hope we all enjoyed. Enjoy your weekend here. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below. Leave a like and I'll see everyone in the next one.